Alright, so I just posted a video. Um, right now it's uploading as we speak. As I speak. <laughs> um, this one is something that I got a while ago, but I didn't get to get around to reviewing it. This is the Texas Instruments TI 994A home computer. Um, I'm not going to show you any of the gameplay because this is a gaming slash home computer. I'll show you everything else because, um, as with many TVs, this is an old CRT TV that it's hooked up to because that's what you did in the 1980s. Um, so you get the big black line which I find very annoying and I can't play very good looking through the iPhone looking at the screen since the games take full screen. So I will show you all the stuff that I got plus some other stuff that I bought and there's more coming. Okay. So a brief history. In 1979, Texas Instruments released their first home computer, the TI-99-4. The TI-99-4 was not successful at all. Well, if you look up on YouTube, Texas Instruments TI-99-4A, you might find a few videos. If you look up TI-99-4, you might be hard pressed to find five or six videos. The reason is because they only sold between 50 and 100,000 units. Why? Because it was $1,500, which at the time was a lot of money. So, this is their second attempt, and semi-successful. They sold 3 million units. Yes, I said that, 3 million. And they made a decent amount of money. But, um, so, I'm just going to show you a brief overview of everything, all the stuff I have, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this is the main computer. Um, I still can't. Texas Instruments. When you think of Texas Instruments, you think of calculators, calculators, calculators. Yes, you only think of calculators. And I actually reviewed a calculator, the TI-1250, Texas Instruments calculator, from 1976, in a previous video. So if you want to check that out, it's on my channel. Um, but this computer, the first thing that you notice is has amazing mechanical keyboard. You would be trying to find a needle in a haystack to find a computer that felt like this in today's world. Um, it's made with typewriter style keys. Um, your function key right here, FCTN controls all these little doodads that are underneath overlaid onto the keyboard and right? the brackets and such and most of the somewhat important things <laughs> so that was one problem um, that you have to press multiple keys to get it to do something um, alpha lock nice space bar okay so then up here we have high quality stainless steel, which I'm not joking. That's the vent area thing. That's the ROM cartridge slot. Power right here. Okay. And that's pretty much it. This is the computer. Um, I also purchased a Texas Instruments speech synthesizer, which is right here don't know why they have that. It doesn't make any sense. And that has two-tone stainless steel, if you can see that on the video. Some things don't very don't come out very well on camera. Yeah, this is like a lighter white-colored stainless steel, and this is the dark, like, sink stainless steel. And I also purchased a Texas Instruments program recorder, because the one I had the cassette recorder I had sucked. And that has, I don't know if you can hear that, weird metal buttons and a counter that just auto-focused. 
and this is made out of metal so they, they did know they knew how to make high quality stuff um weird thing though about this is the eject button and the stop button are separate that's the first thing but when you press eject this happens right shoots it out at a tremendous speed let's do it again just for fun Christ okay yeah so that's a problem if you have your face too close to it, you might get your eye taken out. I also purchased, wait one second, come down here, the Texas Instruments joysticks, which are weird to say the least. Um, upon taking these apart, I found out why they are so weird. The reason being is underneath here, there is a sponge foam pad. Yes. So, instead of having what everybody else had, they made it different. And you want to push really hard on the stick because that's what you do with joysticks. But if you press it lightly, it's very sensitive and it'll pick it up easily. That's that. Now, but the video isn't over because we have some game cartridges. Yes. Hmm suspiciously looking like Space Invaders. Yes, this is Space Invaders, um, but it's TI Invaders. Big difference. Not really. Um, so pretty much you bought your commercially licensed games and such on ROM cartridges that insert as so into the cartridge slot. Um, a couple other games here. TI Invaders was one of the most successful ones. Our second one, Tombstone City in the 21st Century. Yes, they say in the 21st Century. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know any schooners that fly around shooting missiles at aliens in the desert. But, if there are anywhere, comment that because I would be ridiculously amazed. Um, Right. Next game. Oh, no. Right. Munchman. Hmm. I think I'm getting an idea of what's going on here. Yes, Munchman is an unlicensed slight I like it better than Pac-Man because I don't like eating the things. You leave a trail. Uh you could look these up on YouTube too. Um you leave a trail of chain behind you, and the aliens still try to get you and stuff. You eat Texas Instruments logos. Huh. Who guessed that one? And, uh, yeah, it's a fine game. Munchman. It's not Pac-Man, and it's Munchman, so deal with it. That's what they do. Car Wars. Yes. Um, most people don't know this. Car Wars is actually... And as it falls and breaks, no. They're surprisingly durable. Uh, Car Wars is a... Um, it is a... Almost exact resemblance to a... Don't quote me on this, I believe it's a Milton Bratton... Some game, I don't know. It's a video game called Head On. If you want to look that up, I don't know what it is. But, yeah, so... You see the idea here. Um, so most of the games are like that and I don't know why. I guess they figured out oh, everybody else does this so why don't we just do this. Right? But they're good games and you gotta give them a little slack since they've never made any computers when they made this one. Oh wait. Yeah. They failed at the first one. This one was not badly um, done. Mine is a original, an original, 1981. Now how you can tell is, if you look at pictures, right here about, on the ones past 81, they had a badge that said solid state software, exactly where my finger was. The original 81s, I don't know why, they didn't have that. No idea why. But doesn't matter because it plays the same exact games there's no difference at all 
Alright, so that is it. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I have a shipment of new games coming in sometime, either tomorrow when I'm saying this, or the next day or whenever. Yeah, you get the gist. I'll review them too. Yes, if I ever find a way to get the CRT to work, um, I will tell you. Okay, so that's it. See ya.